Yes, I have. I have stolen from <laughs> him. Why are you looking at me? You said stolen. Have you ever stolen from him? Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you all doing? Hope you guys are keeping safe. So today I'll be doing a question and answer video. I really don't know who inspired this video, these questions, but I first saw it on Love and Frank's Family's channel. But when I watched it on Hang with Alma's channel, I decided to do it. I requested for the questions and she sent them to me. I like questions like this because it makes you sometimes to think about things that you neglect some of those things that you neglect some of those things that you do and you think it really doesn't matter or you don't even notice you don't even realize that you do them like when i first saw it on um love and frank's family then i started thinking am i like this uh when like did i do this um uh, have i ever done this you know so that was why i decided to do it and i like questions like this because it makes you to start thinking about some of those things that you neglect in your environment your behavior you as a person can you check out these channels i mentioned above they are lovely now let the camera roll Rolling. action i'll be looking down because the questions are written here she sent them down to me via instagram so i had to write them down so the first question is have you ever farted in the presence of your partner so my answer to that question is no it's not like i know they fart yes i defer but um i don't like it i don't like i don't even like it when i when somebody farts in my presence but <laughs> <laughs> but if you are looking for the orgamata matter of them, is my husband right from the one that man. I don't understand. Even when I have told him several times that, please, bros, I don't like this thing. He will just ignore me and he will do his thing. He use it and it's very long. He'll just be doing it for <laughs> He will just be giving me brass moves, brass moves. I just ignore him, but still, I've not come to that time that I have to feel free and do it in this present now. I always excuse myself. But two question is, have you ever turned him down for a date? And the answer to that question is no. No, because we don't really have, we don't really go out on a date. Um, the, I th I remember the last time we went for a date was before I had my son. My son, who is four years old now. So before I had him was the last time we went for a date. Yes, the reason is because here no mother no father no brother no sister nobody to leave my children for and go for a date and i can't lock them inside the house because i want to go for a date so we generally do our date inside house that is just it <laughs> so you guys that have the opportunity to go for a date because we could have go on our behalf <laughs> Some of us are all packaging our dates till when our children will be independent. <laughs> the next question said, have you ever kept a secret from him before? And my answer is yes. Yes. I don't, it's not like maybe I, I don't, it's not like maybe I like keeping secret for him, but I just tell him the ones I feel that yes. He needs to know and that is important. But the ones that are not important that even me, I feel that why am I even telling him? I just will. and secondly, my husband is that kind of person that please just tell me the one that is important. If you tell him something that is not important, he will just be looking at you. And after you finish talking, he will say, mm -hmm. and then I will feel what you gonna make me the talk now. And my mouth is scratch me and be so that it just it's not like maybe I just intentionally kept the secrets. It's just that. It's not necessary, and I know that he won't even give me listening ear. So I'll just burn. And I know that the thing won't hurt in the future. So why not? I keep it to myself. I... The next question is, have you ever lied to him before? And the answer to that question is no. I've never lied to him because, uh, in fact, right from the day we met, I've been this kind of person that, I want to be transparent in anything I do because I don't want whereby tomorrow somebody will not come and say, you said this, you know, I'm always, I'm always this person. In fact, in my character, I am this person that my word is my bond. Since I started discovering life, since I started discovering me as a person, since I started knowing what life is all about. 
I I don't have any reason to lie, not only to my husband, but to everybody in general. So I I always say that my word is my bond. So that is why, because my word is my bond, I try as possible to keep everything transparent and tell him the truth at all time, no matter how little it is. So the next question is, have you ever shut him down in public? Um, the answer to that question is yes, I have. I have twice twice really but i'm sorry i won't share and after that i felt bad doing it yeah i felt bad doing it so i won't share sorry <laughs> sorry i won't share and it's not advisable to sh shut down your spouse whether in private or in public it's not advisable it's not be you a man or a woman it's not so my love, I'm sorry. I've told you sorry before, Sha. <laughs> you say, how many times in a week do you tell him you love him? Okay, um, in a week, I can't remember how many times I tell him I love him. But before we, before children start coming, we are saying I love you every minute, every day after every conversation, we must end with I love you. But in a week, I would just say after the other room stuff, Hey, after the, the other room stuff, <laughs> you understand. If you know, you know. I tell him I love you, and he will look at me and say, Because I do you well. So, but just on a regular basis, I'll just look at him and tell him I love you. But it's not without one in my mind. I think about my business. <laughs> well, that is just the truth. I'm thinking about my business during the day, and I'll just tell him I love you after doing some goody goody stuff so that is my honest answer the next question said have you ever insulted his family and my answer is no because i don't have any reason to and i'm sure they won't even give me that opportunity to <laughs> to insult them yeah so um the next one said have you ever denied him for love making yes now uh -uh. many times i have many times i have denied him of Mm -hmm. one maybe i'm not in the mood two maybe i'm not i'm not those kind of people that will say if i'm not in the mood uh, then and he's in the mood that i will now manage no i want my own dose too so uh, he's doing his own as he's enjoying it so me i want to have my own full dose and i try as possible to explain to him and he's that he understands in fact sometimes if with my with the way he see my mood, he will just tell me see my dad. be like say sure no good day today this why your face don't be like this so, <laughs> so the next question said do you call him a pet name and what pet name is that yes i call him a pet name i call him many pet names and each of them have what they signify <laughs> what they signify uh, I call him babe, and when I call him babe, meaning I want him to be my baby at that time, you know, I want to be his mother at that moment. So I call him Odogu. The Igbo people know what Odogu actually means. And when I call him Odogu, meaning that he deserves that name at that particular moment. Maybe he has done something, or I just thought about how far we've gone, and I just maybe thought about us, me, him. At that moment, I just look at me and say, Hi, Odogun, okay. Eh? So then I call him um, Aquamia. Though Aquamia isn't a pet name, it's just his title name. But sometimes I call him that name to still bring the Mura up, you know, to tap him for back, say, job well done. And I also call him Obim which is my heart and Obim is actually what I saved his name with and all these names as I said they have a significant reason why I called him by those names and each of them anytime I call each of them I feel kind of different at every pet name I call him so that is just it the next one is have you ever stolen from him like money yes I have I have stolen from him. Why are you looking at me? You said stolen. Have you ever stolen from him? I have. That was a long time ago before we started living together. So he came for a visit and not why we're dating or no, we are already married, but we 
we've not started living. I was living in another city and he was living in another city. So he came to visit me and <laughs> and I was helping him to arrange his bag. And I opened his wallet, which I don't like doing. Well, I don't know what just happened that day. So I opened his wallet and I took some money from them. So I thought he was even going to ask me when he get back so that I can tell him, okay, look at who I have. Then just, but he never asked until, and I wanted to tell him, but I said, mm, well, this one where he no ask me. After all, the money plenty for him inside a wallet. Maybe he don't know exactly how much where inside a wallet or big. No way money to plenty for inside a wallet. If somebody even takes save, you know, go quick no. So I was like, okay, well, maybe because he plenty for inside well, you know, no. But a few weeks later, he came. When he came, I said, ah, let me help you arrange your bag. He said, no, voila, as usual. I was helping him to arrange his bag when he was going back. And bros just gently collected his wallet. And I said, ah, why you couldn't collect your wallet? Not beside his bag, you would. So he just said, no, I don't want to. Hmm, I don't want later. I'll start looking for my money. I said, what What do you mean by that? He said, nothing. I didn't say anything. I just want to be sure that my money is safe. <laughs> So that was, <laughs> I also had laughing. I didn't put him, I didn't say, I didn't say much. But since then, I'm never taking his money. Yes, if I need money, I ask him. And I said stealing because he didn't actually give it to me. For the fact that he's my husband, I should ask him to give me if I need money from him. I should ask him. I, I don't, I shouldn't just go to his wallet to go and take money because he, because he's my husband now. I'm not I'm not principled like that. I'm not wired that way. So I believe that everybody have their own privacy, even though we are married. Everybody still have their own. You see, because he may need that money for something. And let's say, for example, um, I took that money that day, and maybe he already had plan with that money, and I didn't tell him. Then he gets to where he's going to and want to make use of the money and the money is not there he will feel very bad so i don't so that i felt really bad but so since then i stopped i since then i i never i never took his money without his consent so that does it and the next one said have you guys ever taken a shower together no we've not we've not we've not we've not one because my husband won't even <laughs> One, because my husband is not wired that way. Mm -hmm. Who know Igbo men? If you are married to an Igbo man, you will know that there are some things that they are wired to and there are some things that they are not really wired to. And taking a bath together is one of the things my Igbo husband is not wired to. No Igbo men, you know that some of them are actually not romantically wired. You should understand. Next one is, I think it's the last one. It says, if you are to choose, will you choose ten million dollars over your partner? Okay. Ten million dollars is a lot of money, and sincerely, ha, me, I will choose the money. Yes, but God forbid that offer comes to me when I'm really angry with him. When maybe he did something that that really pissed me off. You know, there are some kind of things that your partner will do to you and you'll just sit down and you'll just say, I don't want to see you again. I think that moment when you are angry, that moment when you are really, really, really angry and you say, ah, I don't want to see you again. I'm done. I'm done. It's over. So God forbid that that offer comes at that moment. I will take it. No, me, you do be that. After that, I will regret. So it's better... <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, on a normal day, I will not take ten million dollars over my partner. Yeah, I will not. Because at this moment, I think he's my best, he's my all. Even though I don't know where he goes, but at this moment, he's my best. I don't know where he's we're gonna lie like you do sometimes. He has given me what even ten million dollars cannot give me. Yes, so.
it says tag five people hmm. so what i will do i'll actually do what love and frank's family and hang with Oma did they opened it for anyone who wants to join so it's open for anyone who wants to join so if you're interested drop on it so here is the end of the question and answer i hope you enjoyed it and if today is your first time of seeing my beautiful face you are welcome kindly do well to check out my other videos join the family by subscribing turn on all notification bell to be notified anytime i upload new videos i actually upload videos every saturday and check out the channels i mentioned above and see you all in my next video bye bye